So after a couple of days in Stone Mountain, Georgia, we have officially left the state and we're heading to Tennessee. It's time to get out of South Florida and explore the rest of the country. We've got the RV in tow and we're headed to Georgia, Mississippi, Tennessee, Alabama, and the Florida Panhandle. Part two of our road trip to the South starts now. What's up everybody? We're just sitting here at the Florida Alabama. <laughs> We just made it to Mississippi. We just did the tour of Graceland. We're over here at Stone Mountain. Look at that. I'm Apple. And I'm Rob. Join us as we seek out new adventures and escape the nine to five grind. We travel by land, sea, and air, searching for fun adventures, best kept secrets, culinary delights, and tasty craft beers. These adventures made possible by you. Support us below. We're heading to Graceland, the home of Elvis Presley. And so uh, we called up and they said that uh, there's actually a, a camp campground on site. So we're gonna go and check that out. We already made reservations, so it ought to be a good time. <laughs> We stopped for a quick photo op at Talladega Super Speedway before we continued on to Tupelo, Mississippi, the birthplace of Elvis Presley. We left Stone Mountain right around noon Eastern time. It's only four o'clock and we just made it into Mississippi Central time. So about five hours on the road. It was like 400 miles to our destination. So we're a good ways there. Another hour or two and uh, we'll be at Graceland. This uh, rest area looks amazing outside of Florida. It's pretty cool. The organ was donated. It's a 1920. Wow! Wow! Okay. No kidding! Back in Tupelo in 1935, baby boy rocked the world, the rhythm came alive. Here comes So we were looking for a gas station on Google Maps, uh, right off of Route 22, or Interstate 22. And then I saw on the way to Graceland was the birthplace of Elvis. And it was literally just off the highway. So we had to stop. Now the tour is closed at four o'clock, but it's five o'clock now. And when I called, the young lady said that the grounds are open. We just can't do tours and, you know, of inside the facility. So here we are. Same make and model year of the car that he packed up all his stuff in. Went to Memphis. Uh, it's not the car? No, it's not the car, but, huh. it's, but it's a 39 uh, Plymouth. Oh, wow. So this is like a, a pretty big property. Yeah. So we are where? Oh, <laughs> we're right where it says we are. So the house. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Bad or good? I don't know. Could be what? Ninety years old, something like that. Yeah. 
So this tiny little thing is the house that his daddy built and wow. How unfortunate that we made it an hour too late. It would be really cool to see all this stuff. Look at that. It shows what happened each year. Elvis received a guitar for his 11th birthday. Elvis began listening to black gospel music. Family moved to Memphis seeking a better living. That's awesome. Look at that outhouse. <laughs> oh, it's a replica though. Oh, it is, huh? It's typical in poor southern neighborhood. Probably the historic downtown. So I found a barbecue spot that was up the street from Elvis's birthplace and it turns out the place is actually under construction and like temporarily closed. So back on our way to Memphis. So it's the Toyota factory. The people streaming in there too. That's our Which Toyota? Yeah. There was a bunch of uh, railroad cars. There was loading cars on them. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. The semi truck got in the way. I didn't see. Good. 
our home for the next few days. It's Graceland RV Park, located right on property and just a two minute walk from the Graceland ticket booth. The park has full hookups and a few cabins. There's laundry facilities on property and the staff was awesome. The nice thing about staying at this park, aside from it being on property, was that it was far enough away from the road that the noise from the traffic wasn't an issue. There was 24 hour gated security and the street names were all inspired by Elvis's songs. We just got our tickets, we're gonna head on in. overwhelming and never-ending but really entertaining we still have a few more stops don't we before we can even get to his private jets Probably the end of this tour. It's definitely an all-day event and just really something else. I'm glad we we made it up this way. Next we were able to climb aboard Elvis's private jets. The first named after his daughter Lisa Marie. He had the latest and the greatest back in the day. The sinks were gold-plated along with all the seatbelt buckles too. It was so cool walking on the steps of the king. Everything was left just the way it was when he passed. Sounds the plastic coverings over the upholstery, of course. What a long day. When you thought the tour was finished, they guided you to another one and another one. It really was nice though to see all the exhibits. We went into Graceland as much of fans as we could be for not even being born until after his passing, but we left admirers.
We found a place in downtown Memphis called Charlie Virgo's Rendezvous. Apparently this is the place to go for some good Memphis barbecue. We ordered it to go because there was so much to do that we didn't want to waste any time sitting down. We ate our lunch in the parking lot of the biggest Bass Pro Shop in the world, which happened to be just a few minutes up the road. This is a big plane. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Jeez. All right, this is their barbecue pork sandwich. This thing's loaded. Let's see how it tastes. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. What do you think? It's very tasty. Better than last night? Yeah. This is the brisket. There's like a, a rub on it. And it's not slathered in some sauce, which is probably there. I think they make their own. Wow, that's good. No, that's what I was looking for last night. Mmm. 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 We'll have to go back to eat there. Yes. Oh, so this is their. Oh, that smells nice. This is their sauce. Let's try it in the sauce. Oh, babe. Mmm. And we just we just walked through the door. Oh god, that's the <laughs> so they got a hotel, a big aquarium. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't even know. I'm kind of lost, you know. We thought, we thought the Bass Pro back home was huge. This is crazy. The pyramid-shaped building used to be an NBA arena. One of the highlights of the stop here was stepping aboard the largest freestanding elevator in the country. And for a small fee, we rode to the top to check out the views of Memphis and the mighty Mississippi from the glass observation decks. That's a lie. I wasn't. I'm very afraid of heights. There's the state line right there. Hope oh, y'all had a great time at the lookout and soaked up some amazing views of my own state of Tennessee. Now going back down, take a look around and enjoy the sights. Now before you go, don't miss some of the other great adventures here, like the underwater themed dinner and around the bowling at Uncle Buck's Fish Bowl and Grill or enjoy some target practice at one of the live fire shooting ranges. We just asked the couple who got off the horse and carriage and I guess it's a, a taxi service. You can go around town in it. <laughs> So 
we're just uh, chilling here doing some laundry. We had a great day at uh, Graceland. It was a lot of fun. Now we're getting ready to head to the next destination. Hope you enjoyed watching. See you next time. There's so much more to see. It's time to get back on the road and head to our next destination, Alabama and the Panhandle. Stay tuned as our road trip continues.